how do you keep all that food that you've stocked up in that pantry fresh or at least the same color when it goes out as it was when it went in uh, same color same shape you know no extra flowering growing on things yeah uh, you keep it rotated okay you you use what is the oldest in there first and you continue to put new in how do you keep track of that this video discusses three easy methods to rotate the food through the shelves in your pantry and I do recommend watching through each of them because they can all be used in combination or to play one on another so it's good to watch them all there's also another thing that I didn't really mention in the video as well it is also good to mark dates if you are going to be using notes or permanent markers whatever you choose to do if you do if you do choose to mark up your packaging or put post-it notes on stuff I would put a date on that and I would keep that date consistent there's many different dates that you could use you could use the the manufacture date if that's available the date that you plan on having it used by the date that it's marked to be done by I would really count it as either the date that I would consider it to be expired at or the date that I got it it would be one of those two that I would probably use uh, and I would keep those dates on those foods. I would I generally use the date that I want to that I want to have it gone by um, to use by date. My use by date is generally what I'll put on those things when I'm marking things. So let's get into our styles for different methods for easily rotating this stuff through. One method is designated side method. If you have access to two different sides of a shelf, you're not all the way up against the wall, you have your pantry shelving out in the center of the pantry, or they, these shelves that you're going to be using are out in the center of the pantry, then you have a draw side where you use from, and you have a load side where you put new products in. You would put that in from the other side, so you just stock from one side and eat from the other. This method, um, you don't need access to the rear. What you're going to do is you designate a shelf with a flagger, a device that can be moved, that you will look for, and you're going to have a procedure, whether you're using from the item below it and loading to the flag, or whether you're uh, using from the flag and loading from the shelf above it. Uh, but whatever it is, so that way you have that spot that's marked, and you consume one shelf, and then you load once you've moved that flag. If you go shopping again, you've got that empty shelf that you've consumed, you move your flag, and then consume down here as you purchase whatever that is up above. Or whatever direction you choose. Just make sure you designate them. Make sure that you always use the same. method would be helped with access from the back, but does not require access to the back of the shelf. It's designed to work horizontally on a shelf, and you can combine it with the uh, top-down method that we had, and we can also uh, use it just freestanding on a single shelf. But this concept is to have these rows horizontal system. So we have a flagger again, and the flagger on one side is our load side, and on the other side is our draw side. So I'm going to consume all of these guys before I do anything else. Once I'm done with that, as I have not moved that, if I purchase anything else, it can go right in there on this side of the flag. I'm going to purchase, you know, any new purchases will go over here. But as I consume that, I move the flag on over. That way, as I consume from here, then whenever I purchase new, goes on this side of the flag and then as I consume that completely I move the flag again and new, new items purchased go in there so that's 
another way to rotate to keep track of things. Another thing that I wanted to mention about this too is once you get to the end of the shelf, then you can start with this flagger moving it back to the one side. Or if you're using this with a multi-level system, you would move it back up to whatever shelf is your start. So you can use shelves kind of like a continuation like that. So you start from the top, work your way down, going left to right, and you just move this flag. So once it gets to the end of there, once I've consumed all this, I consumed it down to the end, I need to move it over again. It's going to start over here at the start of wherever my whole chain is, wherever my whole plan chain is, whether it be a different level, whether it be a different shelf, a different pantry, whatever that be. But I move that uh, flag also. It can be a constant rotation like that where I don't really have to move things. I put them in when I get them. And I set them down where they're done. Um, I, don't, I don't take them out of there. I put them in. I set them down. I don't have to move them until I, until I consume them. Uh, except for to clean the shelf. And then you pick it up and put it back, back where it was. And you want to know where that was too. But this is one way that, yeah, you really doesn't take a whole lot of work to keep this rotated. Thank you for watching.